Hello there and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to talk about leveling and more specifically we're going to talk about the leveling changes coming to the game in patch 10.1.5 Fractures in Time. Uh, there's some pretty major changes coming in 10.1.5 including changes to Riding, Exiles Reach, Battle for Azeroth content, Chromie Time, Allied Races and a few little other bits as well. But before we jump into all of that guys I just want to shout out my Twitch twitch.tv slash mrgm. If you want to see me stream World of Warcraft, Dragonflight, Dragonflight PTR and more I'm over on twitch.tv slash mrgm every single day. Right, so yes, just like any other mini patch in World of Warcraft, we have some evergreen changes to the game, and this time we have quite a lot of sweeping changes to leveling, including changes to help kind of returning players and players just kind of getting into the game for the first time. So a lot of these changes are kind of minor, but there are some pretty major changes, uh, including some changes to riding, which is the first thing we're going to talk about. So from the launch of patch 10.1.5, you will no longer need to buy riding training. Riding training, all types of riding training, will be taught automatically uh, as you level. So level 10 10 will be apprentice riding, level 20 will be journeyman riding, level 30 will be expert riding and obviously flying, and then at level 40 you'll be automatically taught master riding. So this is a massive change, unfortunately they're not going to hand out refunds for older characters that bought it, uh, but for new characters that are leveling in World of Warcraft you will no longer need to go to the riding trainer at any point during your leveling experience, which I genuinely think is quite handy for the flow of leveling. I feel like when you level a character uh, and then you have to go back and get the riding training or whatever, it kind of like, you know, cuts out the flow a little bit. So this is kind of a nice change, uh, obviously going to save you some gold as well. Uh, also at level 30 you will receive a brand new quest called Time to Fly. This quest is to go to Boralus or Zandalar and will actually give you a free flying mount, the Harbor Griffin for the Alliance players and the Scarlet Pterodax for Horde. Now if you're a current character in 10.1.5 you can just get this mount for free just simply by going to Boralus or Zandalar and that will give you the quest and you'll be able to get the mount for free uh, without having to get a character like to level 30 randomly. So some pretty big changes to riding there for sure so automatic riding uh, and a free mount at level 30 so that's really cool and uh, yeah a pretty big change to the game honestly. Next up, we're going to talk about some changes to Exiles Reach and kind of the early game of World of Warcraft, especially for newer players. So now Exiles Reach and Battle for Azeroth now have campaigns on the quest log to make it easier to track your progress and pick up where you left off. So when you make a new character now, you'll see Exiles Reach and you'll have chapters in Exiles Reach, uh, which is really handy. That wasn't there before, so that's really nice to see. Uh, kind of, I don't know, I really like the chapter system. I don't know why, but it's just something about it I just really like. And when you complete Exiles Reach, you'll now have Battle for Azeroth uh, with three chapters for the three zones of Battle for Azeroth. Uh, so that's a really nice change, really nice quality of life change for returning players and people that just want to kind of keep up with what they're doing while leveling, if you're going to level through Battle for Azeroth content, obviously. Also with the changes to riding, have it automatically learned from level 10. Uh, while you're leveling in Exiles Reach, if you hit level 10 or leveling through any other starting zone really, apart from the Panda Zone, the Panda Zone didn't work, I don't know why, uh, but any other starting zone, uh, once you reach level 10, you can now mount automatically, which is really cool. So if you're in Exiles Reach, you can now transmog if you really want to, or use your vendor mount, or do anything like that, which is really handy. Uh, obviously, you reach level 10 pretty much at the end of the experience anyway, uh, but it is really nice to have that option uh, come up once you reach level 10 in Exiles Reach. There's also some changes to the tutorial, the Exiles Reach experience. Uh, at the end of the experience, when you go to your capital city, this will now change a little bit from where it was, and it's definitely had a big improvement here. So now what will happen is once you get to the city, you'll talk to a guard on how to get to the stables and instead of having to run after the gnome or whatever you can now just jump in a motorbike with him and he'll take you to the stables which is really nice uh, while giving you a little bit of information about the city as well so that's really really good a uh, big fan of that chasing after the gnome previously was just so annoying so it's really nice to see that change uh, coming to the alliance and horde experiences so once you've completed all that, as mentioned, you will now get chapters for the Battle for Azeroth stuff, uh, but they're also adding the starter zone quest lines to Battle for Azeroth and the side quests uh, on the zone map. So if you're struggling to find quests in Battle for Azeroth content while leveling, uh, those will now be displayed on the zone map, which is really nice. Also as well, now the Dragon Isles Awaits quest, the kind of intro quest to the Dragon Isles that you get at level 60, uh, now provides you a teleport to your capital city. So if you're out and about and you're leveling and you're out in some random zone, you can now just teleport instantly back to your capital city uh, and and then start your journey to the Dragon Isles, which I think is a great change. Uh, something that probably should have been in from the start, but it is really nice to see it coming in in 10.15. Uh, speaking of Dragonflight, Dragonflight, Shadowlands, and Battle for Azeroth dungeon quests are now available inside the dungeons. So previously those expansions uh, had a lot of quests that were outside of the dungeons for the dungeon quests, uh, but now in 10.15, if you go into a Battle for Azeroth dungeon, you'll see some quest givers there to give you quests for that specific dungeon, uh, which is a change they did to a lot of older dungeons, and it is really nice to see it now coming for Dragonflight, Shadowlands, and Battle for Azeroth dungeons. So yeah, good change. So now getting into some changes to Chromie Time. So Chromie Time is really interesting. They've actually got 
got a new kind of dialogue for Chromie. To tell you a little bit about Chromie Time, uh, suggest some timelines and show the opening cinematics of those timelines, which I think is a really nice change uh, for players if they want to just kind of look at the opening cinematics in game or obviously just learn a little bit more about Chromie Time if they're not really well versed. They're also changing the maximum level of Chromie Time to level 61, uh, where it was 60 before. Not really sure why that happens, but yeah, now you get to level 60 and then when, as soon as you hit 61, uh, Chromie Time will end and you will have to begin your Dragon Isles experience. There's also something in the patch notes which says Chromie Time expansion restrictions have been removed. I don't really know what this is. The only thing I could notice, which might be a bug, is that you can actually start Chromie Time at level 1 uh, from a fresh character, but I don't know if that's intended. It's a little bit weird, but perhaps that's what it means. Uh, but yeah, there's a change that's coming in uh, 10 one If it's more than that, like something like new accounts can use Chromie Time or something, like that then that could be it but yeah if you have any thoughts on that guys uh, let me know down below because it's a little bit confusing uh getting into allied race changes so there's some changes coming to allied race as well which is freaking huge and awesome uh so it now says that all restrictions to unlocking allied races have been removed with the exception of the level requirement and that level requirement has now been changed to level 40 where it was level 50 so if you have a level 40 character on your account you now have the ability to unlock all of the allied races uh, without, it seems like, the previous requirements like the achievements or the quests or anything like that or the reputation. All of that stuff is now gone. It looks like you literally just need to be a level 40 character you can, and you can unlock the allied races that you might not have already got or if you don't have any at all, you can now unlock them all uh, in 10.15, which sounds really cool. Uh, it also says in the patch notes that newly created allied race characters will now be directed to Chromie, not the Warboard. Uh, this happens already, it seems, in retail, unless it's been hot fixed in. Yeah, that seems to happen anyway. So yeah, uh, I don't know if that's a 10.15 change or what they're talking about there, but that seems to be something that is already happening. Uh, and finally, some kind of random little changes that they've added in 10.15. So the quest line for Mechagon now starts at level 30, uh, which was level 50. So maybe you can use Mechagon as a leveling tool if you like, uh, which sounds really cool. And Alliance players can now enter Najatar after completing a Nation Divided, uh, which was unlocking the world. So some changes to Najatar for the Alliance and the Mechagon start quest has now changed to level 30 that was level 50 so yeah it definitely seems like mechagon might be something you can do at an earlier stage maybe to get some xp which sounds quite cool so yeah there you go guys that is all of the leveling changes coming in 10.15 obviously the ptr is in current development so there might be some changes coming uh, after this but these seem to be some pretty major changes uh which are coming along in 10.15 really excited for the writing changes i think that's a massive change and and just the minor changes of like having the dungeon quests in the dungeons and you know having the chapters for exiles reaching battle finals i think those like kind of minor changes are really nice and you know just kind of improve the game in an evergreen fashion so so yeah there you go guys let me know down below what you think of the leveling changes coming in 10.15 do you like it do you hate it do you think it's bad do you want a refund on your riding i certainly do uh but yeah it sounds like uh, some pretty interesting changes for sure uh so guys if you like this video please do leave a like on it and subscribe if you haven't already that'd be very much appreciated if you want to support me outside of youtube i also have a patron and i'm on twitter at mr gmyt uh, and i have a discord channel as well and as mentioned i am streaming on twitch.tv slash mrgm if you want to see me stream World of warcraft dragonflight ptr 1015 ptr uh doing all that fun stuff over on the ptr so it's really fun at the minute so if you want to check me out guys so i'm over on twitch.tv slash mrgm every single day and with that guys i'll see you next time